Uh, How were you so with that? I was fine. I was absolutely fine. It was no problem. It was just I was worried about, about Sam. Sam. Mm -hmm. I was terrified of his reaction. Now, don't get me <clears> wrong. <throat> Sam is the most wonderful father, and they had the perfect relationship. They go everywhere together. That's right. But it was the cultural side because of him being brought up in a Muslim background. And not that he had practiced the religion, but it was just we had family here from Iraq and we were close to them and we knew it would be difficult. Because you were, you're from Iraq originally, yeah, yeah. isn't that right? I'm, I'm not gonna talk to you for a minute, Sam, because okay. I want to just get a, an idea then of Riyadh uh, and your, your concerns about approaching your dad. Your mum, as, as it says, outed you and you went for your walk and had a really good conversation that yeah. probably felt like a weight off the shoulder. Huge. What were your concerns about your dad, who you had a great relationship with anyway? Mm -hmm. What were you worried about? Well, number one, that the relationship wouldn't exist anymore. That, uh, you know, it would just it'd be cut off. Maybe he would kick me out of the house. He would leave the house, leave the family. Um, that it, actually, it went as extreme as me thinking that I was going to be honour killed. You know, which is, you know, it does happen uh, in certain countries, of yeah. course, you weren't going to do that. But no, but in, you, in that, in that time, you're thinking you do, all of these things through. Yeah. You know, you're, you're in absolute turmoil in your head. You're young, underdeveloped mind thinking, yeah. I am the worst. I have yeah. something wrong with me and, and he's going to fix it in some way. Um, so it was nine months that we held it from you. It's a long time. Um, and in it's that time, I began to hate him uh, for what he didn't know, predicting what his reaction might be, thinking, oh, well, you know, feck him. You built up a dialogue that yeah. was simply yeah. in your head. I had come out to him psychologically probably about 500 times, each night in bed, With lying awake reaction. at night and just thinking, <coughs> he's going to hate it um, and not knowing what was going to happen. What did you think of gay people before your son came out to you? Well, Culturally? I, yeah, well, I, I just thought it's, I don't really have anything to do with them. So I just thought maybe bit sleazy or stay away from them and all this until Riyadh came out to me and then... And everything changed. And I realised they're not. They're just nice people, nice community. They, they might even be your son. And, yeah. And, I, as it transpired. Exactly. Tell me then about what, the moment you decided, I'm going to tell my mm. dad. That was awful. That was probably mm. up there one of the worst moments of all of our lives, yeah, I think that we can safely say that. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> I, I came back from a house party with a friend and um, I had a fight with, with my parents and then my mom just out of the blue, she said, I think it's time to tell your dad something. And I was like, are you nuts? <laughs> Shut up, yeah. Yeah. you know? Yeah. And no, then it's because, sorry to interrupt you yet, it's because I, I, I knew this secret and Sam didn't. And then Riyadh was just ignoring Sam and snapping at everything that he said. Being a teenager. And like, I was piggy in the middle. I was yeah. the mediator. I love both of them. Of course. And I just wanted it over. It was nine months is long enough. It was time. Mm -hmm. It so was you said, time. out with it. So I, I yeah. was standing there and then I was like, I, I couldn't physically articulate the words. I and I looked onto the counter and I had one of my school books there and I just pulled it over, ripped the back page out and wrote the words, I'm gay and just pushed it across the table to you. And then there was a pause. And then y you came over to me and gave me a hug. And you said, it's OK, son. Everything's going to be OK. We're going to fix this. And then he, you went into the downstairs bathroom and you sat there, I think, for about an hour and a half by yourself in silence. And we were outside thinking, what, what's going on? Is he OK? This is a weird reaction. We thought it would be, you know, a big explosion. And then um, that big explosion sort of came after. After. When you read the words, I'm gay, what, was, what went through your mind? See, it's out of the blue, mm. your son coming. Because he wasn't, I mean, just a minute before he wasn't gay, and then boom, he's gay. So I didn't get any warning when he put this, and I just like, I looked at it, and I go, is he? And I'm just, everything's going yeah. through my Did head. Did you think it was a phase, maybe, that I was just... <clears throat> Confused no, or? no, no, you wouldn't be coming out with that son. Yeah. So I just thought, you know, it's fine, you know, it's my son and what can I do? But then after that, my head is just going, thinking with the religion and the family and all this. And I was just, that's a horrible thing. Did thing. you think shame, that shame was going yeah, on your shame, house? Yeah, shame, yeah, what am I going to tell people, you know? It's, you see, what is that, 10 years ago? Yeah. About 11, 12, yeah. And it's not like Ireland now, which what is was, great. And Sam, what was the lowest point in your doubts? 
lowest point is I was came, trying to commit suicide. Over Riyadh's? Yeah. Yeah. And um, just to try and get into the head of, of what brings you to that desperate point in your life, it was, it, it was back to that thing about family and... I think I was selfish. Culture. I was selfish. selfish. Yeah. Thinking of myself, which is really stupid because he have more problem than me. Thinking about the after, which is so stupid, me going, what about me? Why are you doing this to me and all this? But then it's really him, the one who's had this hold into him chest for so long. He's the one who's, who's going to come out to this horrible world, but people don't accept him. So after I realized what am I doing, I felt very, very guilty.